last night. You already opened all of them, huh? MashaAllah. MashaAllah, Sheikh Sadah, he opens all the names with, yeah, with, with, yeah, <laughs> so the Sahabi, the question, the, the story was very long, so I can't repeat the question. The Sahabi that was tightened to the pillar of the masjid, his name is Tumama bin Uthal. Azmat Qayyum. Upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So they get very happy for you, happier than you. <laughs> so tell us, that's the winner, inshallah. And also, can we choose another winner? Because we have more of them than one prize. Yeah? No, <laughs> we will never give him anything anymore. Muhammad Islam. Muhammad. That's him. The name. <laughs> we have Muhammad Islam and Muhammad Islam. This is Muhammad Islam. The winner. The D1B4. That's, that was his wife, right? Yeah. <laughs> inshallah, we have your winner, the third one, inshallah. Oh, she won before Mahmoud Abtar, that's it. MashaAllah. Amal Khattab. Finally, mashallah, he's been present every night, tabarakallah, inshallah. So khas, we have so many winners. The question of tonight, inshallah, really quick. We recited, Abasa wa tawalla an jahu al-amma. Rasulullah all we, like, I think we all know about uh, Surah Abasa and the story. Rasulullah was talking to one of the mushrikeen, trying to invite, uh, he was trying to invite him to Islam, and a blind man came to the Prophet from the back. And he came, Rasulullah was very eager to invite that leader of the mushrikeen to Islam. And his thought was, if, I, if this man accepts the Islam, the entire tribe will accept the Islam. So this man, the blind man, came from behind and he tapped on the Prophet Muhammad on his shoulder. And Rasulullah turned around and he frowned like, oh, that's like a human nature. Not right now, I need to actually convince this like important man. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this ayah and he blamed the Prophet. Abbasa wa tawalla and ja'ahu al-amma. What's the name of that blind man, the Sahabi? Okay? And before, why well, you're like in a hurry, mashallah. <laughs> inshallah, but we have also one thing, inshallah. Like, inshallah, we did the Quran competition, so tonight we're going to give them the prizes, inshallah. On behalf of the, all the brothers and sisters, I just want to thank Brother Abu Dhar for all his gift and his wife also. So I brought them myself personal gift just because they're, mashallah, they were like, they keep giving us uh, tea and coffee. Even if he wasn't, didn't make it, he points on us gifts. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your family and protect your kids, inshallah, and give them, inshallah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you beautify the Ramadan for us to remind us of this beautiful day. So I'm here. Now, I wish like he was in his position then. <laughs> so you can give the gift. So, anyways, so inshallah, uh, as we all know, like we did the Quran competition through Ramadan, and mashallah, alhamdulillah, many people like participated. And tonight, inshallah, I'm gonna actually announce the winners, and we will give them some gifts, and also certificates will be given during the Eid, inshallah. And if you, Sheikh Salah, if you can, inshallah. So inshallah, no, I'm gonna announce the name so inshallah, the Quran competition we will start with Surah Al-Kahf. As we know, like you know, we announced at the beginning of Ramadan who's gonna memorize Surah Al-Kahf and we tested them and we have good prizes. They're on order, inshallah. So the first winner, the first place of Surah Al-Kahf, Salah. That's uh, Salah. <laughs> SubhanAllah. Not because he's a member of the Masjid, but SubhanAllah. He became first at 93.5%. Uh, 
So if you can yourselves like I'm going to take it yourselves like so I can love you. Inshallah. Inshallah. Second place. Second place. Sister Nismet. Nismet Al Qasabi. She's here. So the second place was uh, Sister Nismet. She at 93%, mashallah. They were very close. 93.5, 93%. And third place, Sister Huda. Huda. She's not here. 92.5%. And fourth place, Brother Ayman. He's here, the Iraqi guy. Ayman al, uh, Ayman al, last name? He's here every night, subhanAllah. No, Ayman, Ayman. He's not here? SubhanAllah, that's the fourth place. And uh, fifth place, the brother Murtaba or Uthman or Abu Dhar al Ubaidi. MashaAllah. <laughs> so I gave them like very hard time. And so inshallah, you can't forgive me. Right? So inshallah, the other winners, inshallah, in the other category. I mean, uh, we have like three, three, mashallah, three uh, kids who placed first. The same percentage, like 99%. Uh, Amira, Abdurrahman, Abdurrahman. MashaAllah. Amira, Abdurrahman. And also, Asma. Asma is here. Asma. She's not here. Aida, or Aida, or Aida. Aida, I think she's, Aida, I think she's uh, from India or Pakistan, mashallah. She did very well, 99%. And then, second place, Fatima Mustafa. Fatima Mustafa, at 98%. Fifth place, Ahmed, Ahmed, Inshallah, did you get some, some an email or something so they can show up? He was only like the only Ahmed who participated. <laughs> inshallah, we will actually just have them come, inshallah. That's an encouragement for them to come. That's it. And uh, number six, Ayana at 95%. Inshallah. You know, he's taking the prize, <laughs> And these, these people actually who are, like who participated and they did very well. And uh, we have four participants who actually participated but they did not uh, fulfill their requirement, but like, you know, they did their, uh, their best. Uh, can you pronounce this name? Simang? 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 Simon. Simon. Uh, anybody from the family here? Alas. Then Husniya. Husniya. And then number three, Amina. Amina. Oh, the same father, mashallah. <laughs> and he just got like a new baby born, like a boy. Mashallah. He has three daughters and one daughter. And number four, Rayyan. Rayyan, Rayyan Ayman. He's not here, inshallah. Then we will give them the prizes uh, uh, during the Eid, inshallah.